Hey, what's going on guys? Chris Travis here with Fandra.com, a long time no see. Today we're taking a look at the Themer application from My Color Screen. This app is all new to the Google Play Store, just came out today. It's completely free to download and uh, comes to you from, again, My Color Screen. If that name sounds familiar, it's because MyColorScreen.com is uh, a site for, I guess you can call them designers or themers, Android themers and stuff to go and uh, post up the most craziest and wildest Android uh, home screen themes that they can uh, dream up. And uh, on the, they give you, you know, all the applications that they use and all that stuff. And where, I guess that really wasn't too user friendly. I mean, I found myself going there from time to time just to take a look at what everyone was doing. And, you know, my jaw just dropped to the ground. And um, it was just way too difficult to uh, take, you know, hours out of your day to apply these themes. And, um, uh, and then you find another theme you like and you have to apply that. So my color screen wanted to kind of streamline the entire process so they kind of developed this application called Themer. You know, it acts as a home screen replacement similar to like Buzz Launcher and stuff and it allows you to dramatically change the look of your device uh, or the home screen rather just by one click, just by applying themes and making it super easy to use. So you can see here, this is a specific theme that I have that I found that I thought was really nice. Very clean, minimal and bright colors. Uh, you can swipe over here, you have your dialer, swipe over here, you have your calendar, and it is just super awesome the way this looks. Uh, you got your weather. I don't know, now I'm, I'm starting to look at it and I kind of feel like this is for like grandparents that just need everything real simple and big, almost like a toy UI. Uh, I still like it. This is actually that dialer from the quote unquote leaked key lime pie build <laughs> that was pictured not too long ago. but. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, and um, sometimes the themes can be very uh, strict, I guess you can say. So if I go in here and say I was trying to uh, drop an application on the home screen, sometimes it would just be this very tiny little app, and it would look really weird and not match the theme at all. And uh, here the icons don't match and stuff, but um, whoop, you can kind of flip it away like that. So for whatever reason, this specific theme seems to behave very, very similar to your typical launcher, uh, at least on this home screen rather, and you can get it, get applications, throw them up and position them around. Uh, you could even uh, place them on top of each other and other ones. And you, uh, long pressing and letting go brings up your typical, uh, what do you call those, your options that you would see like on Apex or Nova Launcher and whatnot. Let's go to the actual themes. So if we go to browse themes, I can show you guys what we're talking about. Uh, they actually have this, this cool little sidebar area here. You can see there's a bunch of different settings, theme area, advanced system. You can browse themes. If you find some that you like, you can hard them and favorite them. Download it are the ones that I've already downloaded, which is this one here. So it's pretty cool, pretty, pretty intuitive, super easy to use. Let's go ahead and browse themes. We'll go with, um, most popular, I suppose. I don't think there's, oh, my dino nuggets are done. Uh, let's go through here and you can see some of them are super dramatic. You have a Breaking Bad theme, which looks awesome. I'm probably gonna go for this colorful one later, but uh, this one looks like an old school LCD. Uh, that is just way, way too cool. It's even cracked at the bottom. It has the ink kind of spread in there. Way too awesome. Let's check out the Grand Theft Auto V theme. So you can see here, you can uh, check it out. See what it's gonna be like when you do finally apply it. Like, who thought of this? Who was the guy? Who was the guy that made this? Click apply. Takes a few seconds. Normally, when you click apply, it's actually gonna ask you to sign into your Google or Facebook account before you can download the theme. So, uh, if that seems like some sort of issue for you. Let's keep that in mind. And dear God, this is cool. So you can see here, granted Auto Five theme. Shows your messages, your phone, our missed calls, emails, all that crazy fun stuff. This is just way too awesome. Really? Gallery. Oh, clicking on a lot of these widgets will ask you what the default application you want to open. Uh, we'll just make it the normal gallery here. You can see here. Pretty awesome. Pretty darn cool. I mean, that's not that cool, but, you know, just having all this and then you can play some tunes. Pretty neat. It's got a little, cool little widget down there. Don't you worry. Oh, and it has the Reddit. Oh, that's cool. It has a little Reddit feed here for all of the Grand Theft Auto V stuff. Pretty awesome. Again, that is just crazy. And showing somebody this, like, oh, let me see your phone. What do you got going on there? 
boom, this is what I got going on there. Um, one thing I did notice is the application drawer never gets themed. It's always kind of this stock Android look. Um, and you can click up here to go quickly to browse your themes or go to the little theme or thing. Uh, and let me see, if I try to drag, you can't really move the widgets around. Uh, you can try to, and then things are gonna get a little bit strange. How do I, okay, can I? Oh gosh, I just threw off my little, I just messed everything up. So you can see it gets pretty messy pretty quick. I can't even get to all my apps anymore. Oh man. But yeah, so that is just, I suppose, a quick run through. Oh, what do I, how do I do that? I gotta get out of here. I have to reapply that theme again to fix it. But uh, yeah, a quick look at uh, Themer by My Color Screen. Super awesome. I totally recommend you guys download it right now. Uh, unfortunately, it's only opened by invite, so you're going to have to request an invite. Um, just download the application and you'll see the little instructions for that there. Uh, but for now, I am Chris Travels with Thank you guys for watching this video. See you next time. Where's those dino nuggets at?